In this video, we will begin to create the geometry for our robot head. Um, we have our Rhino software open, and specifically we'll be creating the this view of the robot, the front of it, in the front viewport. I have saved this picture, and I think that I actually will use a background bitmap to create this. So here's my robot sketch. We will go into the background bitmap place option, and I will click and drag to place my image and then press enter. I think what I'll do is um, move this, and I would like to move it from, do I have a midpoint that I can grab? No. I'll grab a random point and basically I'd like to drag this over until my axis is somewhat lined up with the center of my robot. I'd like to build this on the center point. At this point, I'm going to trace the exterior using points and then draw a curve through it. So we do want the right click option to place multiple points. I'm going to take grid snap off, and I'm going to use my axis that's in place. We're going to trim or split down this face, so I do want to continue this as if it was a real arc. And we will end this on our axis and press enter. Next, we will create a curve through points. That's a right click on this option. We'll select our points and right click. I like the curve. Again, we're going to cut right down this area. So that looks good. I think at this point I'll also put in an axis. And I think I will start it at my top point and bring it straight down. It's starting to get difficult to see everything. And I really just needed this shape just to um, create these points. So at this point, mm -hmm. I'm going to go into background bitmap, background bitmap mm -hmm. and remove this one. There is my overall shape. And I like it. It looks as if there's a little overhang here. That's not good. So I will trim. Here's my cutting object, and I'll remove that. That just makes our top point and bottom point even with each other. At this point, surface and revolve, and we will revolve this from here to here in full circle. So we do have our overall shape complete at this point. We'll flatten the sides out next. <clears throat> In our front viewport, what I'm going to do is create a line straight down the side. I'd like it to be perfectly even. So we will use a command called Mirror, if you look in the command line, select the object to mirror, this one. Use the top of our axis and the bottom to mirror it successfully to the other side. Let's also get rid of all of our points at this time. With our shape here. And our lines drawn, we can go to split. The object we want to split is the big object. And we would like to split it with these. This will allow us to, oops, misclick. We've now created some holes in the side of our object. <clears throat> In our surface creation menu, 
that's this menu right here. The second option will create a surface from a planar curve. This is a planar curve since it was flat. So it should fill that in. This one too is flat, so that should fill that in. And then we will join this, this, and that. So that they are one piece. I believe the next portion we'll create are the ears. So let's do that in our right view. I would like to use right in the center of this. So let's turn on center. It might not give us a center point for this since it was not necessarily perfectly circular. That looks to be a good size. And we'll take this. And we'll bring this out. <clears throat> We do have a sphere that's embedded in there. So I think I will go to my sphere command, turn on center point, and use the center point of this sphere to about right there. Um, I do not like that this sphere extends into my object. So I'm going to use the trim command. This is what I would like to cut with. And this and this are what I would like to remove. I'm going to take this object, and in order to get this object up against here, this part of the object is its right-hand side. Under our Align Tools, these are our Align Tools, we're going to look for the one that says Align Right. Here it is, and we will select it. Select the object to align. That's this point, and we'll press Enter. We would like to align the right-hand side. Will it let us with the quadrant? So notice that the right-hand side was snapped to that object snap point. Feel free to do this by eye as well. I'm just trying to use a little bit more precision. We'd like to join these, so we're going to use Join, and join this and this, and align the right-hand side of this with there. <clears throat> we would like this to be on the other side as well. So this is, again, where, where we will use Mirror. And we will select these objects and mirror it from the endpoint to the endpoint. These have been mirrored symmetrically. Point, I'm going to create a box from its center, corner, nope, that's not what I wanted. This will be the beginning of the mouth that we create. I'm going to take this, bring it up to here. We will draw extensions off of this and then extrude this in our next video.